What is up people? My name is Jay and in this video we're gonna learn a little bit about Oxygen. And Oxygen is an app that comes with a theme and it's actually like a theme builder slash page builder. It's something very interesting as you can see you can add your own HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP. Looking at this image you can create your own stuff, add your, your code but you have here you know like a user interface and you can play with stuff looks very user friendly and you can see here you can add your own php code pretty cool right so i'm gonna post this link in the description so you can go there and try it so i just click on this button and they gave me uh access to a wordpress installation so i, so I can play with it and here i have it so you can see that i have here oxygen already installed let's go to my pages I have two pages, a home page and an about page, and that's it. Let me see how the home page looks. And you can see it says home. So this is the title of the page. I have an image, which is super huge, and some content. Uh, so you can see that we don't have any kind of navigation, no footer, no, like, there's nothing here. And that's what I want because I want to create my own header. I want to create my own footer. I want to create my own stuff and I can do it with oxygen. So I'm gonna click on edit page and you can see here that I have, like, let's click here on visual. I have here the image and the content. But here's something new. It says oxygen in the sex warning. No view is applied to this post. Create custom view. Okay, let's click there. All right, and we have something here. Uh, I see there is blank. There's nothing here. There is a button that says add. Um, we have here back to WordPress and we have settings, save, and a hamburger uh, button. So I'm gonna click on add. All right, so we have section um, under fundamentals. We have WordPress, reusable components, and design sets. So on the fundamentals, we have the normal stuff like the section, some columns. You can add a div, your headings, text block, and the normal things that you can see in page builders and stuff like that, right? So we have here WordPress. And in WordPress, there's something interesting because I can actually add widgets right here, like search, text, categories. Um, tag cloud, a menu, and then reusable is empty right now, but this is very, very important because, for example, the reusable stuff that we're gonna have here are the things that we're gonna reuse all over again and again, like the header is gonna be reusable, the footer is gonna be reusable, or maybe you have something that you're gonna reuse again in different pages in your WordPress site. All right, so in components, we have very important stuff like headers, footers, heroes, buttons, content, and more stuff that you can add to your page. Uh, we have here something important that I'm gonna use in a minute, WordPress content. So for now, I need a menu like a navigation. So I'm gonna click here on headers and let's click here on the standard header. And you can see it's like a normal navigation with a logo. Let me click here on header topper. All right, so this is like your phone and email and social media, so you can add it on the top. I don't want that right now, so let's add the standard header. Let's click on add component to page. All right, and I have here my navigation with logo. Very cool, so I'm gonna click here, for example. And now when you click something, you can see some stuff right here. You can see that we have an ID, we have the URL for the logo and the size, and we can click here more, and we have a lot of more options. Like we have background with all the, all the options, position and size, we can add paddings, margins, position, everything, typography, borders, and CSS, and JavaScript. So you can actually add some JavaScript right here and the CSS right here. All right, so this, this is only for my logo because I click on it. So I have all those options available for me. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change my logo. So I'm gonna click here 
and um, I have here my logo. So I'm gonna go hit there and select this image. And it's huge. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change this pixel, this width to maybe like 50 pixels. Yep, something like that, all right. And then, because I only have a home and an about page, I can just click here, for example, in pricing, and I can click right here on this trash can icon. And it's that simple, you can remove it like that. Or I'm gonna show you something else. I'm gonna click on this button right here, and you will see the DOM tree. If you don't know what is it, what it is, just Google it, and it's gonna be very easy to understand. So we have everything that we have in the website right here, right from the body to the to the header, and then inside the header we have an image, which is the logo, and then we have a hamburger menu, which is the button. Uh, that you see to open your navigation when you are on a phone or a tablet and then we have this div block that you can open here it's a group and we have the four links that we have right here right so what I can do is I can remove it, remove it right here in this X button there you go and there you go awesome that's all I need. I just need the about and the home and about link in my navigation. That's all I need. So I'm gonna click home. And you can see here that we have a button that says link. I'm gonna click there. And here you can add, um, it can be an external link or it can be an internal link. So for example, this is the home page. I'm gonna click here in the home and I'm gonna click add link. And in the about, I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna click here on about, add link. And now we have our about homepage and about page linked. So let's say that I'm happy with my header. This is what I'm gonna use in every page that I create. So I'm gonna go here to this one that says standard header bar. I'm gonna click here on this three lines icon or hamburger button and I'm gonna click on make reusable because I want to use it again and again and again all right so I click there you can choose whatever name you want I'm gonna put header and click OK all right and we're good with that now I want to add more stuff so let's click add so for example, the columns, I'm gonna add a new section. We have this section right there. And you can see that we have a width right here. And the container, we can control the, the width right here. We have page width, the one that comes with, the, with, the, with oxygen. We have full width, or we have the custom, and we can add whatever we want. So for, for now, I'm gonna stay with the page width and you can change it if you go to the settings and you can see here that we have uh, 960 pixels you can change it if you want for for this video I'm gonna just leave it like that all right so I'm, I'm gonna add inside that section two columns so let's click on columns and you can see here that we have two columns you can add three or whatever number you want for now, I want two columns and maybe with a spacing of 30 pixels. And they're gonna be right here. We can't see it because they are white right now, but if you hover, you will see it. And we have a new section with our columns inside and two columns. Awesome. So I'm just gonna change the background so we can see them. Something like that, all right. So we have those two columns. So let's say that inside this one, I want my WordPress content, the one that I created with the picture and uh, my content on my regular editor. So I'm gonna click add. I'm gonna go to, I think it was components, right? Yep, components, scroll a little bit and we have here WordPress content. I'm gonna click there. And you have different stuff like headers, post header, post content, 
and all this stuff. So the one that I want is post content. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click here on add component to page. And there you have it. This is my WordPress content that I actually added on my regular editor in my page. Okay, so I can add that. It doesn't have to be there. You can add it. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Use your imagination. Okay, so right now I need to add some padding because this is like almost right in the edge. So I'm going to click here on this section. I'm going to click on columns and I'm going to click on that specific column. And I'm going to click here on more. Let's go to, uh, let's see. Yeah, position and size. So we have the padding right here. So I'm going to add like 20 pixels to apply to all. Awesome. So we got now some space right there. Actually, I'm going to change my background to white. So it looks better. All right. Looks awesome. And you can see here, I clicked right here and you can see that we have some PHP here, some code that you can actually modify if you know PHP. It's very interesting that, uh, you know, some page builder or some app like this can do this because most of the page builders or uh, theme builders or whatever, they don't give you this option. So I'm actually pretty impressed. Okay, and we got CSS and if you want JavaScript, you can add it. As you can see, they have some JavaScript here uh, and alert. Let's remove the comment symbol. Let's see. All right, so the JavaScript is working. It says, hello. So very, very cool, really very cool. Let's add some text to this column. So let's click on the column. Let's click on add. Right here we have the text block. Let's click there. And you can see that we have something and you can double click on it. You can write whatever you want. But for now, I'm just going to paste some, you know, text. I want to add some padding just like we did in this column. We have some padding. So make sure you are in the column. So let's click there. And this time I'm going to click here on more and I'm going to go to CSS and JavaScript. So I want to show you that you can actually code instead of um, actually adding the padding in here or changing the background color. So I'm just going to code it right here. So let's say padding 20 pixels. Here you go. We have the padding and I want to change the background to white. There you go. Pretty easy, right? But of course, if you don't know how to code, don't worry. You have all the options in the user interface right here. It's very easy to change and control, but you have the option to code everything too. Something that I want to show you is I'm going to add a new section. Let's say add a new section. I'm going to click add again. And I'm going to go to HTML, this code block. I'm going to click there. You can see that this is today's uh, date. If I click here that says code editor, you can see that we have some HTML, but we have PHP. So we can actually create PHP right here and you can see it that is actually working. And we have CSS and JavaScript inside this code block. So I'm going to remove that section and I'm going to create a footer, right? So let's create a new section right there. I'm going to add some text and let's say like copyright 2016, I eat websites and I'm going to click there on the section. I am going to center the text and I'm going to click more so I can add some padding. All right, 20 pixels apply to all. So we have some padding right there. That's good. And now this footer, I'm going to use it in all my pages. So I'm going to click on the 
three lines icon or, or the hamburger menu or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to click on make reusable. I'm going to call it footer. Okay. All right. I'm going to click now go back to WordPress. Actually, I need to save it. Now I'm going to click on go back to WordPress. Okay, cool. Let's see how it looks. All right, perfect. We got the header, we got all this content, and we got a footer. All right, let's go to the about page. And you can see the about page is horrible. It have no kind of style, but now it's gonna be a lot easier because we already created a reusable header and reusable footer. So I'm gonna go here in my about uh, page and I'm gonna create a custom view. So I'm gonna click there. All right, it's blank. I'm gonna click on add. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to reusable and we have the header, I mean <laughs> the header and the footer. So we got two options, single and editable. So the editable means that you can actually change it. You can edit that block and it will be different in that page. So if you want a different header on the about page, you can click there and you can change it. But if you click single, it's going to be exactly the same. All right. So I'm going to click on single because I don't want to change it. So it's exactly the same. I don't want to change it. And I'm going to click on single footer too. All right. So we have the header and the footer. Let's let oh, let's open the DOM tree. So you can see there that we have those in there. And now I'm going to add a new um, section. I'm going to put it on the middle, of both. And in here, I'm going to add my WordPress content. So I'm going to go to components. I'm going to go to WordPress content and I'm going to click on post content, add component to page and look at that beauty. So I have my normal, you know, content from WordPress, from my WordPress, my regular editor. I put it right there. My, my footer, my header, everything is awesome. You can keep adding stuff. For now, I'm happy with this, so I'm going to click save back to WordPress. Let's see how it looks. All right. Looking perfect. Let's go home. All right. We have the home and we have the about page. So right now I have a, re a working website. Really, really awesome. It gives you the flexibility to do whatever you want. You have the freedom to do whatever you want and I love it. So thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this helps. And um, if you wanna keep learning, subscribe because I'm uploading one video every week. So see you next week. Yeah, bye.